just like the yaks of Yak Yakistan on My Little Pony, fans of movies and TV shows are rarely satisfied with what they are offered. Fans who watch movies and TV shows ask that the TV show or movie or whatever please do a spin-off, please do a reboot, please fix these problems. Uh, wouldn't it be cool if the characters were in a movie? Or wouldn't it be cool if the movie was turned into a TV series? Wouldn't it be cool if these characters did a spin-off? Wouldn't it be cool if this old show came back and they did a reboot and they brought the characters back? Wouldn't it be cool if this episode, if this show never ended and it continued making episodes? So many things that fans want from what they watch, and when they finally get it, they're never happy. Fans of the Powerpuff Girls watch that series go off the air. They want it back. They want to see the show come back and do new episodes. And we get a couple of Powerpuff Girl anniversary specials. We get the Japanese anime Powerpuff Girls Z. We get Powerpuff Girl content in video games. And we have an upcoming reboot for it. And none of these things has satisfied the fans despite the fact that they've directly asked for it. They asked for it, they got it, and they didn't like it. Other shows like Scooby-Doo and Avatar The Last Airbender, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Trek, Batman, a whole long list of other things have all had uh, spin-offs or reboots, some kind of new series or a special character that got special attention on the show, or something where the fans gave a little feedback and asked for something to happen and when they finally got it they didn't necessarily like it. Fans wanted more Star Trek movies and when they got them they didn't like them. Fans wanted a Star Trek series that went back to the roots of the original series and went back to exploring outer space instead of encountering the same old aliens that you always see all the time and wanted something a little new and when they got it they didn't like it. Ninja Turtle fans wanted to see all of their favorite characters come back in a new series or be represented in a movie and when they got it they didn't like it. People who saw the Superman Returns movie didn't like it and wanted changes made to the movie and when they got those changes made in Man of Steel they still didn't like the movie. Fans of the Batman movies who saw what was happening in those Batman movies complained about certain things. Those movies made changes to give the public what they wanted and the public still complained. It seems that no matter what I list that has done a spin-off or a reboot or has come back with new episodes or whatever else, anything that has given the fans what they want. There are always examples of the fans not liking the fact that they finally got exactly what they were asking for. It seems that fans will never be happy no matter what they get unless they write it themselves. There have been a few successful revivals of old TV shows as such as the nature of Finns like Thundercats and He-Man, but those were not popular with the network. Even bringing back Avatar The Last Airbender through Legend of Korra 
gained a lot of fan support, but it still had its rocky seasons that the fan bases didn't like certain aspects of. Teen Titans Go was something that fans loved when it first came out. They were excited to have the old cast back and to have the series running again, but then it turned into a disaster of everything that the fans hate, and it took every minute to simultaneously give the fans what they've always wanted and also insult them without even considering the feelings of the fan base. And it's still running and promoting itself like it's the awesome new show of the channel, and it just isn't. It is a complete insult to the fans who know and love it. For every awesome moment, like having Batgirl in an episode, or having Starfire and Robin share a romantic moment, or having Beast Boy share a romantic moment with Raven, or seeing Raven play with My Little Pony figures, there are ten other horrible moments that the fans just don't like. Like rewriting continuity, changing the backstories of characters, having Beast Boy fall in love with an inanimate object. Ridiculous, stupid stuff that just would never fly in the face of the series. Teen Titans Go is a unique case of genuinely being bad. Other shows like the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series or the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movies get a lot of fans attacking them for being bad or for pandering or having bad writing or for using too much CGI or something else like that, but these things are not what make those things bad. These are still things that are good and enjoyable and worth your time, and a lot of fans refuse to watch them simply because of the fact that they used CGI, and CGI in the eyes of many people should never be used, when in fact CGI is actually really good. And so is the writing and the voice actors and the actors and the staff and everybody involved in the production. The stuff that fans complain about when they watch these things is not the same stuff that bugs me personally. And um, another strange oddity would be something like Code Lyoto. When that series ended, its continuation was done in live action, a live action series in canon with the animated one. I haven't watched it because it hasn't come out where I can watch it, so I can't judge it, but it does seem a bit weird and I would be cautious going into the continuation of the series. Then you have something like Batman, who is a character who, who along with the likes of Spider-Man and the X-Men and the Avengers and Hulk and so forth, can have his story told and retold over and over and over and over again throughout countless reboots, each one with its own quality. You have the Bruce Timm Batman, and then you have THE Batman, and then you have Batman Brave and Bold, and beware of the Batman. You have the Tim Burton Batman, and you have the Nolan Batman, and the Schumacher Batman. You have the Adam West Batman. There are so many different variants on the character, each with its own good points and bad points. Just what I'm saying is that currently, Fans are never happy with all of these things, and yet fans are the ones who asked for it, who wished for it, who demanded for it, who wrote in asking for the series to continue. When Futurama was cancelled, when Family 
die was cancelled. It was the fans who wrote letters and brought those shows back. And maybe the shows got better, maybe they didn't. It's always been a matter of personal opinion. As TV shows that we used to love from our childhood continue to sit around from Dawkin and we get closer to the days when that beloved series will return through a reboot or revisal of some kind or another, we got to remember that whatever we get, it's not going to be the thing that we remembered it to be. The reboot of Thundercats was nothing like the original. The reboot of Ninja Turtles was nothing like the original. And they're not going to be anything like the original. The original was the original. You can't continue the original by picking up the episodes and continuing what worked back then. If you're going to reboot a series, you got to make it different enough that it can stand on its own as something different that can appeal to the new young audience that's growing up. But like we see in Ninja Turtles and like we saw in Thundercats, you gotta throw in just enough for the fans of the original series to remain excited about what that series is offering. You can't allow yourself to be turned off by it not having the same voice cast, not being the same art style, not being the same continuity, not being the same story. It will be the same characters, a lot of the same characters. They will, of course, be presented differently, but they can still be presented in an interesting way that is fun and interesting to watch. Every series that gets its reboot or its spin-off or its continuation is worth giving another try. They won't all be amazing like Ninja Turtles or Legend of Tora or Star Trek Deep Space Nine or any of those other things that I mentioned. They won't all be horrible disasters like Teen Titans Go, nor will they all be uh, sometimes good and sometimes bad like the many numerous Scooby-Doo spin-offs. There have been multiple variants on Transformers, Transformers Animated, Transformers Rescue Box, uh, Transformers Prime, Beast Wars. There have been many variants on G.I. Joe and Strawberry Shortcake. All of these different things come back in lots of different flavors and they will never be what they used to be, but uh, maybe what they are will be good and enjoyable. You can't assume the worst of them, nor should you expect them to be the unchanged thing that you were fond of as a child. If you go in expecting that, you will of course be disappointed. And with shows on the horizon like Powerpuff Girls and shows that God announced that I have no idea if they actually successfully aired their episodes yet or not, like Rainbow Bright, and shows that are stuck on Netflix where I can't watch them, like Inspector Gadget, all dead in reboots. It'll be interesting to see what comes up in the future and how the public takes to it. Anyhow, that's all I have to say for now. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and good night.